Hi, this is a bit different. I thought I'd do Comic Cuts Live, just because we're all having a bad time at the moment, and I just thought we'd do a bit something a bit different. I've also got something to talk about for once in my life, rather than just talking about squirrels falling from the sky, or goats. So, um, we've just released a new book, uh, the new Rocket book, which I have here. Um, it's called uh, Rocket, the first Space Age Weekly. And um, I'm going to give you a quick uh, bit of background on this um, and uh, how to get hold of a copy. Um, it's now available. Uh, I'll have to admit that I was worried that Bear Alley Books would have to shut down for the duration of the crisis, but thankfully uh, the print industry seems to be working fine. And I don't mind telling you it was a huge relief uh, when we received our proof copies last Monday. Um, since then I've been through them with a fine tooth comb, so we've uh, made some minor corrections, uploaded the files again to the printer, and we've started printing, you know, all the orders that have come in so far for the Rocket and the Hurricane book and the Eagles book. Um, uh, we've processed all those orders, and in normal circumstances I'd say 8 to 12 days. Unfortunately, of course, the postal service is very stretched at the moment, so it may be a little bit longer before your book arrives however it will arrive um, and I'm hoping that uh, you'll enjoy it so much that you'll come back and buy some more books. A couple of people have asked me well why index rocket you know it was a minor paper not many people know about it it didn't last that long I was interested in finding out why a Space Age Weekly launched in the mid 50s when there was a science fiction boom folded after only 32 weeks and why did it fail so spectacularly? I knew there would be an interesting story behind it because almost immediately Douglas Bader's name disappeared off the cover disappeared from the editorial pages why? you know he was one of the most iconic Englishmen in the country at that time um, so there was that. Um, uh, why did it have three different publishers over the course of 32 weeks? Why did it struggle? It struggled almost as soon as the first and second issues landed at the newsagents um, and it was doomed from that point it seems. Um, so I knew that there would be that interesting story to tell. Thankfully there were one or two people I was able to contact had some solid information about the timeline of how all this happened. So. Uh, I was able to piece that together as part of the jigsaw and writing the introduction. So I'm rather pleased with the way the introduction turned out. The index itself is very solid. Uh, there's not that many gaps. Um, some of the authors we don't know, but certainly we've managed to identify all the artists and where the, where the various comics were sourced. So uh, overall, I mean, it's an, an index I'm very proud of, that I'm very pleased with. Uh, and I hope that people reading it will find it equally as fascinating as I did. So at the same time that Rocket is coming out, we've also relaunched two of our earliest books. First is Hurricane and Champion, the companion paper to Valiant, uh, which uh, I've, we're putting out with a new cover and some additional information. Uh, when I started doing the indexes, uh, this was the very first one that I did. And unfortunately, I didn't have all the information that I wanted on the annuals. I managed to track down um, uh, images for all the covers, but that was as far as I could go. Over the last couple of years, I have actually managed to track down copies of the, all of the annuals for both Hurricane and uh, Champion. I think there were 12 in total. So all of that information is now in the new edition of the book. We're also doing uh, a reprint of Eagles Over the Western Front as a single complete volume. Um, this was the way I always intended it to be, but I must admit that when we started out in 2011 I was a little bit nervous about the uh, price, so uh, I, did a, 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 I, I broke it down into three volumes that we could put out at, I think it was 9.99 or 8.99, and um, the book did fairly well, but sales have tailed off over the last couple of years, so I just thought that this was a good opportunity as we've entered our 10th year of publishing. Um, I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, put together the volume as I originally wanted it. Um, there's no extra information. If you have got the three volumes, there's nothing extra in it uh, that you're going to be missing out on. But um, it is. It's a beautiful book. 
Uh, and and you know, sort of like everyone who's read it, who's contacted me, uh, they're just sort of like blown away by the stories. Uh, it, it's a it's a World War One setting. And it's about the RFC and a young pilot who joins the Royal Flying Corps. Um, it's written by Mike Butterworth and it's beautifully drawn by Bill Lacey and it really does deserve a bigger audience um, and hopefully this one volume sales have tailed off over the last couple of years of the three volumes so I'm hoping that the uh, putting it out as a complete collection will give the uh, series a boost and uh, you know people might take a chance on it the one volume actually works out cheaper than buying the three individual volumes uh, and obviously you're only paying one set postage so uh, I'm rather pleased about that I'm pleased that we can offer that